let's talk about posting invoices to QuickBooks. Now, where we'll start is up in our navigation bar. We're gonna choose our invoicing module. And from the dropdown, we're gonna select overview. Now, we will either want to jump into a drafted or final invoice in order to be able to post this information over to our QuickBooks file. Now, I'm going to go ahead and post over our software implementation invoice number 6002. I'll do so by just opening up the invoice by clicking on the dollar amount. And from the top of our screen, I'm going to select the cloud icon, meaning that I want to post this to QuickBooks. Now, all of my information will pre-populate from the invoice that was already created in the system. However, you can see that I do have two red fields here, meaning that this is going to require information to be input before I can post over to QuickBooks. What this is asking me for is where do I want this revenue to be directed via by service item for my chart of accounts within the QuickBooks file. I'm going to go ahead and I'll put this under my consulting item. Okay. Now, I also have tax rates built into my environment, so this is where I would be able to go ahead and associate county or sales tax. And we also do have one additional dropdown that's available within this view next to our amount. Now, this is going to ask us how we want to post this information over to our QuickBooks file. We can choose our default format, which is just going to show the line item that appeared on our previous invoice. We can choose time and expense detail with staff, which was the view that I previously had. We can also choose time and expense detail with no staff, which is just going to bring over the notes from the actual timestamps. And we can bring over a summary and expense detail. Again, which would just be the line items that appeared on the previous invoice. For today, we're going to go ahead and select time and expense detail with staff. Again, just make sure that each of my fields that are red have an item associated. We can go ahead and just apply our tax. By making sure that each of my items have something populated, I'm now ready to post over to QuickBooks. By clicking on the post to QuickBooks, you'll see that this is now thinking and this item has now gotten the status of posted. On behalf of your big time team, thank you for watching our video and we hope you have a great day.